So yeah, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today I got you guys a video going over the craziest and coolest melee weapons here in Call of Duty. So first off with Black Ops 3, this is the Bushwhacker. It's essentially a handheld chainsaw. This is, I think, the first time ever in COD that we had some type of chainsaw be introduced here. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sick, man. This is only behind supply drops, and of course, as a matter of fact, all the melee weapons are behind supply drops here in Black Ops 3. This game was definitely the first COD to bring in some of like the craziest melee weapons and make a uh, big deal about the melee weapons here in this game. But yeah, I feel like the, the handheld chainsaw here is such a cool idea, especially the sounds, the, the different sounds that it makes when you do kill the enemies. It's definitely pretty freaking cool. The next one is the Nuketown Mannequin Arm. It's called the Lefty. It looks really cool with dark dark matter and this just the entire concept of this melee weapon is just such a dope idea grabbing one of the mannequin arms from the Newtown map and just slapping people around with this so yeah this is such a wild idea man Cherk definitely went overboard with the uh, with some of the ideas here in Black Ops 3 but later on, you'll see that Cherk even uh, went crazier in Black Ops 4. So, yeah, it was always fun to just slap people around with this melee weapon. And let's just go on to the next one, which are the Prize Fighters Boxing Gloves. The fact that this is a thing in Call of Duty and you can put Dark Matter <laughs> on it is just so cool. And also the fact that this is a one-shot melee weapon. <laughs> like, what? A freaking... It, this is like uh, Mike Tyson's Boxing Gloves. If you could just one shot every everybody in the game but obviously if it was like a four hit or a three hit melee weapon it would not be good at all whatsoever so it had to be like a one hit just so it's practical but yeah it's just funny just going around the map and just left hooking people right hooking people just knocking them out straight up <laughs> And just the sound of it, too, is just very funny. So this is definitely one of uh, the coolest melee weapons, I feel like, in COD. Especially that you can put different camos on this thing. I feel like that definitely makes it even cooler. So that's going to be a wrap with Black Ops 3s and melee weapons. Let's go on to the next Call of Duty now. Next up is Infinite Warfare. And this is the epic variant of the Katana here. And the difference between this and the regular version is the fact that this actually explodes enemies every single time you kill them with it so that's why this thing is just crazy you know it may not it may it may just look like a simple katana but dude the moment you start uh, using this thing against the enemies you'll be like you'll you'll just start seeing like how insane this thing is it literally blows the enemies into bits and pieces of meat <laughs> it's crazy and, and it just destroys the robots completely here in infinite warfare it's such a fun melee weapon here in this game but again sadly this variant in particular is in fact behind supply drops but it's just so damn satisfying using this and just running around the map just destroying enemies with this thing here just there's just something about this uh thing the satisfaction of just the just seeing the enemies go into just little bits and pieces you know so yeah that's gonna be the katana it's definitely the coolest katana that we've seen even the animations every Every single time you get a kill, it does have a, a different like um, stand, different like like animation of just holding it basically. Uh, but that's gonna be it with this one. Let's go on to the throwing axe here. This is the epic version of the axe, and it's not only just a normal regular axe, but you can also throw it like a throwing knife, pretty much. It's definitely very difficult to use because you don't really know. I, I don't know. You feel like you just have to get a feel with this thing. It just feels definitely, it feels very off and weird compared to a normal throwing knife, but you can treat it like a throwing knife. You just have to get used to it, but just using it as an axe as is, is definitely pretty, it's definitely pretty cool, but that's going to be it with Infinite Warfare right there. So next up in Modern Warfare Remaster, we do have the Danger Close melee weapon. It's essentially just an RPG missile that you just go around whacking people with, and then the inspect animation is just so dope right there. 
there. I just wish that if, if your character can do that with the inspect animation, that imagine if the character can throw all those missiles to the enemies and they all just explode on impact. <laughs> yeah, that would be actually absurd. It would be even worse than uh, the Danger Close noob tubes in MW2, but it would have been hilarious if that was like a bonus feature with this thing here. But just the, just the whole entire concept with this thing, just running around with what you usually use for an RPG is just wild to me. Just going around whacking people with this thing. <laughs> it's just funny, man. And then the best part about this is the fact that with this game, at least, when you do kill people with the melee weapons in this game, they do have uh, the, the blood does get all over the melee weapon, which is a nice touch and add on with the, the, the little details. So that's going to be it for this game. Let's go on to Black Ops 4 now. This game has a lot of very awesome melee weapons and the first one that comes to mind instantly is this action figure and the fact that you can put all those camels on it too it just looks very cool with dark matter diamond and so on and so forth the inspect animation is nice too as well and just the running animation too is even funnier it's just such a neat idea here no one would have ever thought that call of duty would have done this this definitely blew people's minds back in the day and this had everyone going like what the hell is this no way cod actually added this into the game and even the animation of just killing the enemies with it it's just funny it's just you just slap chop people with it it's just you're getting killed by a toy in cod but yeah next up is gonna be the cha-ching which is essentially just a bag filled with a coins golden coins here which is uh, also a very crazy concept for a melee weapon here in call of duty i definitely do remember when this uh, first came out in call of duty people were like no way this is actually a thing you know so i feel like the idea are actually endless they're definitely endless when it comes down to making melee weapons at this point I wouldn't be surprised if they make a pencil as a, me as a melee weapon or if they make even a literal gaming controller as a melee weapon or like even a flashlight if they even if they haven't even done all those already you know what I mean so yeah this is definitely a cool idea you kind of get to hear all of the the, the coins jingle a little bit when you do like slap the enemies with this but the next one is is called the Eye of Apophis. This is just a strange looking melee weapon. I don't even know how to explain this, but it's just four or five floating rocks right there that you just go around punching people with and then they just instantly die. Yeah, I don't know where these rocks come from, but <laughs> they do remind me of Thanos' uh, Infinity Stones, like Thanos' uh, Infinity Gauntlet. So that's, not, that's what I pretty much call this. It's just Thanos' Infinity Stones. You just go around hitting people with it. So yeah, and then they do float with that lightning coming off from those rocks, which is pretty cool too. It just looks crazy, you know? It doesn't even look like an actual weapon from Call of Duty. This is just so out of the norm and it's definitely very crazy the next one is the sleigh bell it's a christmas themed melee weapon it's literally a huge bell and it's just such a cool concept too because it has all those christmas lights over it it even does have those like it even has the barbed wire too I, I like the theme of this weapon it's pretty cool even the animation as well it's like a christmas uh, holiday themed with like the little snow coming out from the enemies too so yeah I like the idea of this is definitely something different a huge giant bell you'd be whacking people with but next up is a stop sign yeah a literal stop sign that you just go slashing people with right here it has like a little face on it too which is pretty hilarious and uh, yeah you just it's definitely pretty insane to see that you're just running around with a damn stop sign I, I would have never thought this could be a melee weapon in COD. Like, like I said from earlier, it just goes to show the amount of ideas are just literally endless when it comes down to melee weapons. And then same for the, for the last one in Black Ops 4, very similar to the uh, mannequin arm from BO3. This is a, a zombie arm. So they took the, the same concept, but was like, you know what? How come we can't just do a literal zombies arm? We're Treyarch. We're known for this zombies mode that everyone loves. 
so why not create a zombies themed melee weapon and here it is here and the inspect animation is so freaking cool the zombie arm literally comes alive and it just tries to kill you and chokes you out which is pretty cool but it's pretty much the same exact animation though with just slapping the enemies with <laughs> with the freaking corpse essentially and the running animation is is pretty funny too because it's like you're running regularly with like uh your actual arm but instead the zombie arm is in place with this so i feel like that's definitely a neat little detail with this with this zombie arm compared to the one in black ops 3 where it actually doesn't have this same animation so yeah that's gonna be it for black ops 4 black ops 4 has a lot of creative and outlandish melee weapons but now let's go to the last call of duty so finally with vanguard we have the valois pistol valois i, I don't know how to pronounce this pistol's name it's spelled v-a-l-o-i-s so i have zero clue i have to use google translate to figure this out but it's a pistol along with a melee weapon the barrel is literally a knife yeah it's definitely an insane concept we have never had a gun like this in call of duty it's definitely pretty wild to see that a pistol has a knife as a as a freaking barrel yeah it's definitely pretty insane and i did skip cold war because i I feel like Cold War didn't have any like really crazy or insane feeling or looking in melee weapons so that's why I skipped Cold War maybe there is but I, I want to go look at every melee weapon in Cold War and nothing really stood out to me that's why we're on Vanguard here because this one definitely stood out to me being just pretty a pretty wild concept so that's gonna be the entire video for the craziest and coolest melee weapons here in Call of Duty. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.